this is May. Um, yeah, you're watching Tux Toys. <laughs> Keep watching. <laughs> Max, come on. Hey friends, Tux here. For this particular video, we're going to be talking about the things I purchased at Florida Supercon. I had such a great time. It was a fantastic con, and I've had people asking from different states even. It's like, what's with this Florida Supercon? I have to say that of all the cons I go to, this is my favorite one, guys. It is a fantastic time, and honestly, I travel to cons, and I would say if you don't live in Florida, consider like making a vacation of it. Come to Miami, check out the beaches, spend some time at Florida Supercon. There's a lot of fun that can be had in Miami, so definitely worth kind of considering focusing a vacation around coming to Supercon. Just a thought, guys. And I cannot wait till their next event, which is Animate, which is kind of like an anime convention they do every year as well. You can check Florida Supercon page or Facebook for more information about the Animate event. But Or you ask in the comments down here, and I'll direct you to the right place. But anyway, guys, this I had a lot of fun. I think the hardest thing for me, people are asking about, like, how much stuff did you buy, Tux? And the hardest thing for me, honestly, is because I'm taking photos and having to carry stuff around, is I really try and uh, regulate how much I spend uh, because it's like more like how much will I have to carry back to the car, you know? So there's so many great things, man. I would love to walk away. And if anything, guys, I honestly have buyer's regret. There's things in my original video. You can watch my other Florida Supercon video, which I didn't buy, which I really regret now. It's like I really wish I would have got some of that art, the Overwatch art, which you can see in the video. And there's some other blind boxes and things. The Pac-Man light I didn't buy. I can't believe I didn't buy that, you know? And super cool lightsabers. I mean, next time I go, I'm definitely going to like make sure I have enough bags or like way of carrying things back to the car because there's so many great things man that I wish I could have purchased which I know I could pick up some stuff online but it's really great actually being at the convention to actually like touch it and feel it and look at it you know firsthand and that's what is great about going to these cons is the fact that you can actually see the product in real time in real life instead of just like seeing a picture which when you get it it's like different or something you know so anyway guys without any further ado let's go ahead and take a look at some of the things I did purchase now first I do have to say a big thanks to Safari Limited man they're one of the people that came through and they actually had these cool bags so if you go to a con be sure and check and see if Safari Limited happens to have these wonderful Safari Limited bags great folks awesome products love their products and I do have a new Safari Limited video coming up shortly too so anyway they have some really cool stuff lined up for 2016 so be sure and be checking their products out awesome 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 toys so looking at the other things in here I'll go ahead and take off my little press badge here Again, thank you, Florida Supercon. It was really fantastic. Um, cannot wait for the next one, guys. Oh, my gosh. Okay, some of the things I purchased were kind of like things I would buy normally, but it was fun to buy them at the con. First off, I've seen this, which I have not found easily in stores, and I still don't have the plushie for this. This, of course, is the brand new July Pokemon 20, okay? And you can see it has a super cute card here, nice little pin, and we'll do an unboxing of this in the future, but I was really happy to find this at an awesome price, too. So be sure and shop around. Some of these vendors will charge different prices at the cons, but this was like normal retail, and this can't be found in stores right now. It's super difficult to find. At least I was unable, unable to find this at Toys R Us, Target, and other stores, so it was really great to be able to pick one up. So anyway, got that. Continuing, uh, let's see, I'll try to get some smaller stuff. I did pick up, um, let's see here. Some of these bags are not the actual true bags. I did pick up a couple Matchbox cars. Um, I'm going to do a Matchbox video. I've had people requesting this for a while now. And I love sports cars, as you probably know from my previous discussions. And I picked up a few little Matchbox for my Matchbox collection. And there will be more information about Matchbox come up down the road. And I do plan on having a video for Matchboxes. Plus, honestly, I plan on my Tux Reviews channel. One of my plans is to buy a new sports car. And I'll be reviewing that car and having car videos and stuff on there as well. Like ownership videos. Right now, I'm leaning towards the new Corvette. The 2016-2017 Corvettes. But... Anyway, we'll have more information on that down the road. But anyway, picked up some Matchbox cars for today. And let's see what else we have in here. Um, I'll save that. Um, let's see. Oh, a few of the cool little things. Safari Limited, there's some little freebies stuff in here too. They have this cool little folder thing that was part of their bag, which is very nice. It is like a translucent little holder, which is really cool. Um, I did pick up the Florida Supercon mag. And I like the way the Florida Supercon actually has like an actual cool magazine that talks about everything in there. Really nice glossy pages. Really a premium, nice, nice little um, freebie that comes with your paid membership to our paid ticket in. So really great. Talks about the whole thing. Welcome to Florida Supercon. If you go to Florida Supercon, pick up one of these and kind of try and keep it nice because it really is a nice collectible you can take with you. So awesome. Okay, continuing on. Let's see here. They have a little Safari Limited, little free shipping on any order thing. There's a coupon code you can use. Coupon code Supercon16. 
and you get free shipping. And they, God, I cannot talk enough about the dragons. If you watch my other videos, there's this blue ice dragon. It's so pretty, man. I got to get this toy. So anyway, very, very cool. And let's see, got another free bag here. Um, you never can get too many bags. Whenever they pass out free bags at these cons, definitely worth grabbing. Let's see, another little Safari Limited little promo thingy here. Talks about the different animals and different things they have coming up, which is really cool. So you can check that out. There's some examples of some of the fine products they have coming out. These can be found in a lot of educational toy stores and other places online too. Very nice. Continuing on, let's see. Oh, one last thing from Safari Limited. And they have this cool little book, man. This is really cool. Toys to Teach. And it really talks about their whole catalog, which is really nice. And lots of cool things. There's a sand dragon I reviewed a while back. You can check out that video on my queue. And uh, let me see if they have that really cool dragon, man. Um, let's see. There's some cool ones, but not the one I'm looking for. Um, anyway, just check out. There's probably a new one that is part of the 2016 line. But cool. They have a little catalog here for you. Very nice. And continuing on, let's see here. I got, um, oh, I got a couple little Pokemon things here. Um, I really kind of limited how many of these I got. I got this really cute Meloetta here. And we'll open this in a future Pokemon video. But you can see really nice Meloetta in her fighting form. And then check out this one, Sleepy Time. Very, very cute, like a little Pokemon. This one was 12 bucks, so it's a little expensive. But in fact, that was sleeping and so cute looking, I absolutely could not resist that. So got a few little Pokemons. And then, let's see, I got this, and this will probably be an upcoming video pretty soon. Um, oh, this actually I didn't get. This is at bought Target. Um, these, they have these on clearance. I don't know why. On the way home, I stopped at Target, and they have these Ghostbuster little blind bags for, like, 208 on clearance. And this is, like, the new Ghostbusters, I believe. It is. So, it was weird. They're, like, the movie's not even out yet, and they're clearancing out Ghostbuster toys. They have the larger figures on clearance, too, but I just picked up the blind bags for now. So, grabbed a few of those just to check it out on the way home. Back to Supercon stuff. Um, I got these really cool blind. Um, these are Attack on Titan. And they're like little balls. And I've never seen these in any store before. And I guess it's like a cool little capsule import item. So Capsule 1. So I don't know if that's like a company that does capsules of various types. It's interesting that the, the capsule itself is kind of generic. But this is actually Attack on Titan. And I end up getting several of these here. Got three of them, so we can check these out. And the figures looked really cool, so I look forward to doing these and showing you some Attack on Titan goodness. And then let's see what else I get. Uh, finally, I got this here, which is I didn't get this before, and I seen this at one of the Pokemon booths, and I couldn't resist. Um, really cool little set with some breakthrough packs and Fates Collide packs, and like a really cool figure. I don't think the figure stands though; it's only negative. And of course, you know I'll enjoy the figure either way. And again, I still have my figure recap video coming up of kind of a recap of some of my figures, and um, also a Pokemon Classic Toys recap too. So anyway, I got the set here. I've been meaning to pick this up, so I was able to find that for regular retail price. So I was happy about that. And that pretty much does it, guys. As you can see, I kind of use a little self-control this time, largely because I was spending a lot of time like going around, like videotaping and talking to people and doing like kind of stuff so I didn't want too much stuff to carry around but I got some really good stuff and I really enjoyed Florida Supercon again I cannot express how fun it is so if you get the chance be sure and check it out down the road okay all right guys thank you very much for watching this particular video I'll be opening some of the stuff if any of this stuff floats your boat you're like oh god you got to open this or that or whatever let me know what you'd like to see open first okay and we will check it out together and I have lots of cool videos coming up and going back to the normal tour reviews very very soon we got new stuff all the time I try and do five to seven videos a week and also don't forget we have the 4,000 subscriber giveaway coming up and I've had a lot of questions maybe some new subscribers asking about it and if you actually watch the 4,000 sub giveaway video it has all the dates rules and everything but basically you can say enter me in every one of my qualifying videos which is from the last winning video up until August 1st say enter me your name in the hat for a chance to win some cool prizes including a brand new Pokemon 20 plushie okay all right, guys, thanks again for watching this video. Be sure and check out Tux Reviews on Instagram and Twitter. Be sure and check out Tux Toys. I'm sorry, on Instagram and Twitter. Be sure and check out Tux Reviews, my review channel. And also be sure and check out Gamer Tux, okay? We'll talk to you soon, my friends. Have a good one. Bye-bye.